What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we are going to be talking about the heat check packs that are going to be added into NBA 2K18 My Team. I'm guessing tomorrow, because it says these following players are now available on the blog like it does every single time. I assume that these are going to be coming tomorrow in NBA 2K18 My Team. So anyway, I'm going to be going over all these cards. I'm going to be going over which ones I think are going to be good, which ones I think are not going to be good. So anyway, we're going to start off with the three Ruby cards. Jason Tatum is the first one. He began his rookie season on fire, so he's going to have a really high three ball rating. Um, he's going to be solid. He's going to be fast. He's going to be able to dunk a little bit. His Jason Tatum card could be really, really nice. It's like a small ball four or quite a tall three. Jason Tatum's... Um, I don't even think I've used a silver card, so I don't know what his release is like. I've never used any of his uh, moments cards. I think, does he only have a gold moments card? But um, yeah, Jason Tatum should be quite a good card anyway. I'm actually surprised because there's a good chance he'll get a playoff moments, but they'll probably go and give that, give him an amethyst or something for that if that happens. But yeah, this should be kind of a really fun card to use, and considering these rubies are all gonna be 500 MT, this could be a really nice one, and does have the potential to be a hidden diamond. Next, we have got Eric Gordon. Uh, it says here Eric Gordon had all-star potential for the Clippers for injuries, which is true. This was Eric Gordon back when he was able to drive to the basket, but he wasn't as good a shooter as he is now. Um, I'd say they are going to give him a three-point rating higher than any of his current cards, because that's just 2K logic. But um, yeah, so we obviously we're getting an Eric Gordon card. I'm guessing maybe an 85 plus dunk. He's going to be um, really, really nice to go into the basket. His three ball is going to be nice. And yeah, he should be a really, really fun card to use. Not going to be the most useful because his release is not the best. And Eric Gordon historically doesn't have the best release. Unless they give him a uh, Hall of Fame Limitless for a Ruby, which they may do. And yeah, I'm looking forward to using this Eric Gordon card. And last up is crazy. Manute Bowl. Heat check. Manute Bowl. I get it that he hit six threes. Um, he hit six threes and a half as far as I know in that game. But um, yeah, Manute Bowl can shoot a little bit. If they give this card like a 90 shot three, it's game over. It is game over. His release is not that bad this year. And oh my god, it could be game over. A seven foot seven shooter. This card could be better than the pink diamond. Yeah, this card is scarily, scarily good if it has a three ball. I mean, Manute Bowl will be good anyway. This will be a well-used card, a great budget card, no matter what. But if he gets the three ball, it is GG. So now we're on to the Amethyst players. First up is Arvidas Sabonis. So Arvidas Sabonis was basically a seven foot three Larry Bird in his prime. He, Sabonis is one of those players where you can't definitively say he was the top 10 of all time, but a lot of people that watched him play would argue that. And some even former NBA players that play with Prime Sabonis said that he's probably the greatest player ever. I wouldn't go that far, but that just shows how good Arvidas Sabonis was in his prime. Unfortunately, we don't have a diamond yet. I wish, like, he was, wasn't was in his prime at all in Portland. I wish we could get a diamond to Sabonis. I need to stop talking about him, but Sabonis is going to have a great um, inside game. His ruby card is already a beast. He's going to have a money release with, like, a 93 open shot three, I'd say. He's going to be a great passer. He's basically just going to be a 7-3 Nikola Jokic. This card could be insane and will also have decent enough speed if they're basing it on prime Sabonis rather than Portland Trailblazers Sabonis. Next, we have got another card that I'm really excited for, and it's Alex English. Alex English's Sapphire card was incredible. He's got Carmelo Anthony's release, which is quite nice at times. He's going to have an incredible mid-range game. I don't think that they're going to give him much of a three ball. But in previous years, Alex English actually had like a 50 shot three, and this year they already gave him like a 70 with his um, Sapphire card, so you never know what they're going to do. But um, I highly doubt he's going to have more than, say, an 85 open shot three. But it still isn't bad because he's going to be a great dunker. He's going to have a great post game, but post game's not as overpowered this year. Probably going to have a 99 shot mid or close to a 99 shot mid. And overall should be quite a good card. Next, we have got Steve Smith Amethyst. Steve Smith is probably the best, is going to be the best shooter in the game. Steve Smith probably is the nice release in the game. He's probably going to have a 95 plus shot three. He's also probably going to have all the Hall of Fame shooting badges and Hall of Fame Limitless. His diamond was a beast last year. And as far as I know, his diamond didn't have any Hall of Fame badges last year. But I'm lo really looking forward to this Steve Smith card. It could end up being one of those budget beast cards around 25, 30K for this Amethyst. And he could just be an absolute steal. 
The last up is Chris Stapp's Porzingis, who's going to be the most expensive of these amethysts. We're going to get another diamond Porzingis at some stage this year if they're giving an amethyst there right now. There is no doubt about it. We're going to get a diamond Porzingis. Maybe in the season elite because for the New York Knicks, they're not going to make the playoffs and like we're, they're not going to give it to any other Porzingis. We're probably going to see a diamond in that. Actually, that collection will be out. Is that the next collection? That probably is the next collection. So we might actually see an amethyst and a diamond Porzingis, but you just never know. But um, yeah, so amethyst Porzingis card, diamonds are or rubies already a beast. He'll probably have higher ball control, potentially even a speed boosting Porzingis, and will be an incredible card. Probably 80 plus speed as well. So really nice. And now we are going on to the three diamond cards. First up is basically, um, I know I said that um, Steve Smith's best release, and Steve Smith actually probably does. This, this next card is definitely up there with Steve Smith. And that is Chris Mullins' diamond card. Chris Mullins' uh, jump shot is cash. He's left-handed, which I actually prefer. Some people actually shoot better with left-handed players. Some people shoot worse. I don't know why it is. But yeah, um, Chris Mullins is going to be a great, great card. So basically, he's going to be able to hit shots. He's also going to have decent all-around stats because that's what his um, Diamond card had last year. Diamond had really nice well-around stats for the Dream Team card. I'm guessing it's going to be something very similar. I'm guessing maybe a 97 overall um, Chris Mullen. That could be really, really nice. And a card that will be insane, to be honest. Like, a really good card that I'm really looking forward to. And I will definitely get all of these cards. I'm going to go and get the Chris Ball Collection Award. Um, because, as you guys know, I'm now on PC, so I can do this. So, um, I'll definitely get a gameplay with this Mullen and see how good he actually is. Next up, we've got Elgin Baylor. This is another card I'm really excited for. So, um, it says he's a simple shot release, which he doesn't. It's not terrible, but it's not simple by any means. Elgin Baylor is going to be a jack-of-all-trades player. He's going to be probably up there with the top cards in the game in total stats. He's going to be able to do everything on both ends of the floor. His dunk animations, his shot animation means that he's not going to be an elite player in the game. Just like his pink diamond last year wasn't an elite card in the game. Just because the fact that it is Elgin Baylor. And historically he's been kind of awkward to work with in terms of like 2k gameplay wise. His sapphire was insane for me at the start of the year. Like absolutely insane. But mainly that was because that was before the real power creep. Where every player just became like hidden pink diamonds. Everyone had a god squad. Even budget players have basically a god squad at this stage. But um, yeah, so that Sapphire card is now almost useless. But it was fun for a short period of time. It was actually really, really fun for a short period of time. So Elgin Baylor will be an okay card. Will probably be around the 100k mark. Will be the cheapest of these diamonds. And not a bad card by any means. And last up, we have got Kareem Abdul-Jabbar from Milwaukee. Wow. I thought for a second that was going to be a Lakers Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. So this time last year, they gave Kareem Abdul-Jabbar his Lakers diamond card which was the one without the three ball, but all the post moves. It says here that um, he has no offensive weakness. So this is going to be a three-point shooting Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. So anyone who has Hakeem Olajuwon as the best center who put like a million of MT in, millions of MT into Hakeem Olajuwon, there's now a pullable center that's even better than um, the Hakeem. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is going to be an absolute beast. Will be the best center in the game. The Skyhook is one of the only offensive moves that actually are tough to stop this year. I don't know why. Skyhook seems way better this year. Maybe it's just because all the other types of hooks and fadeaways are underpowered. But Kareem is going to be a beast. He's going to be beast at absolutely everything. And yeah, this is going to be really, really fun. So anyway, now we're on to the collection reward. This collection reward, again, I'm going to get him because I'm on PC. But I'm not that fussed about it. It's a Diamond Chris Paul card. We were all hoping for a Diamond Carmelo Anthony card. But I'm guessing they're going to put Melo in, say, the, high, the equivalent of the high scores pack later in the year. I assume they're going to do the same with Paul Pierce. I don't know, maybe playoff performers for Paul Pierce. But, um, yeah. So, Chris Paul, undersized point guard. Meaning, in this game, this year, not going to be up to much. Unless he has about 20 Hall of Fame badges. Which I actually wouldn't put it past 2K. Give him 20 Hall of Fame badges. But, um, yeah. So it says he has, it says badges like Dimer. It's inevitable if Chris Paul was going to get Dimer. But I'm guessing he's going to be a 98 overall. I'm guessing he's going to have probably a 95 plus shot three. Probably a 99 shot mid. 99 all his passing. 99 everything perimeter defense. I think he's going to be able to dunk. 
because that's just the way two guys going. They probably they just give random players the ability to dunk, and it's going to be a good card, but will be quite quite expensive to complete all this collection. And probably not going to be worth locking in. Well, to be honest, no sets are worth locking in this year. But then Mullen, Kareem, Sabonis, Porzingis are all going to be really expensive. And who knows, Moot Bowl might be about 15k for a ruby. So wait, I've only seen it now. I did not notice the players' ratings are there. Chris Paul is a 98 overall. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is a 98 overall. So it's going to be a game-breaking card. Elgin Baylor is going to be a 98 overall. Just look at his pink diamond last year. I'm guessing stats will be almost identical. With more Hall of Fame badges. Can't see Chris Mullen's rating. So bonus is a 94. So he's probably going to be better than his diamond from last year. So yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to this collection. So anyway, that's the video. These are the players that are going to be in NBA 2K to my team from tomorrow. This pack is called the Heat Check Packs. I'm so disappointed that Paul Pierce and Carmelo Anthony aren't there, but all that means is we're gonna be getting them sometime later in the year. And it means that there are still players to come out. We're not getting everyone too early this year. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.